Hello guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today we're doing the first video of Declutter Week 2020. Oof. So, uh, we're gonna start off this Declutter Week with primers, foundations, concealers, and face powders. So all of that is in here except for the face powders, which are in this acrylic drawer, and there's really only a couple. Um, this is gonna be the least, I guess, cut throat declutter just because these are all products I use daily and now that I'm on a no-buy I'm gonna really need to preserve them you know <laughs> so uh let's just you know jump right in so for my face powders I have them in the same drawer as my bronzers and individual contours so really it's just like these three <laughs> so we're gonna keep them these are all Rimmel stay mats um my current shade is 001 um, but I went through, I had a backup drawer turned declutter drawer. I had shade 004 in there, which used to be my face shade. Um, but I could use that as a bronzer. So I wanted to bring it back in here and just not get rid of it. Um, so yeah, I'm really not doing much there. But that's for face powders because I really am actually just using these daily. Alright, so for primers, we have primers over here. And then I've got a couple of eye primers up here. So let's go through... These I really like this AOA Wonder Skin Primer, so we're gonna keep that one. This is technically a BB cream from Garnier, but I really don't like it as a BB cream. I like it better as a primer, so I'm gonna keep that. I'm also gonna keep the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter and this color corrector from Charlotte Tilbury as well. All right, moving down here. So we've got some eye primers here. I really hated these putty eye primers from e.l.f. Um, so I'm going to get rid of both of these. I had two shades. I had a white and then I had a cream. Uh, they just really don't work well for me. So those are going to get decluttered. I really enjoy the Lorac behind the scenes eye primer. This is a brand new one. I haven't opened it up yet. So I'm going to hold on to that. All right, let's go to the e.l.f. putty primers. I really like the original putty primer. This is a good one, so I'm going to keep this. Now for the Luminous and for the Matte, honestly, I don't think the Matte Putty Primer was that great. I did use a decent amount of it, but I don't think I'm reaching for it, and I really don't need it. So I'm going to declutter this one and make a mess while I do it. And this is actually the little thing you get from the full-size Tatcha Primer, and I just kept it to use with my Elf Putty Primer. <laughs> Speaking of, I have a small Tatcha Silk Canvas. I really got this mini just to use because I was going to eventually do a comparison to... I already have one of the Elf, but I wanted to do a comparison to the Revolution, and I, just, I never got around to it. And I think I will maybe in January. So I'm going to keep both of these. And I think I liked the Luminous Putty Primer better than I liked the... Um matte one so i'm gonna put this in the luminous and i'll keep those as there i don't think there are any other primers in here um and then i have this kind of i don't know what this would be counted as a powder this is a make me matte from elf technically you're supposed to be able to mix it in with any foundation and then it becomes a matte foundation so i'll leave that there all right so not too much with the primers but now these are all things that i'm going to be using Let's jump into, let's do foundations first before we go, because I got, uh, concealers are actually pretty big back here. So let's go into foundations. Um, For loose powder, I literally only have one loose powder in here, and that's the Maybelline Fit Me. So that's just going to stay. For foundations, do I want to declutter any of these? So I've got the Collab Bright Spark, which is a decent foundation. I do enjoy that one. I've got my MAC here for colors color matching. I have the KVD Vegan Beauty, which was actually pretty decent. I really like the Charlotte Tilbury and the Pat McGrath. But you know what? I have to say I don't like this dewy and smooth. I definitely like the other foundation from Maybelline better. What is it? The matte and por poreless and matte? Matte and poreless. This one doesn't work as well. So we're going to declutter that one. Move this over. Um, I did just pick up this BB cream because I thought it was discontinued, um, but it's not, thankfully, not yet. Anyway, um, so this one's actually half empty from Wet n Wild, and then that one's brand new. I'm gonna keep those. Um, I'll keep the rest of these. My white mixer, I think it's like half empty. I actually, so I've actually gotten to the point where the only things I have to use the white mixer with are, I think, the Double Wear and the MAC slightly. Everything else, I think I've actually gotten better at like realizing that I am pale and that I need to have a lighter shade. So I think we're okay there for foundation. Yeah, let me dig out all of these concealers real quick. All right, 
So I pulled out all my concealers into this little container. Um, first, Dermacol. I am almost done, or like halfway done with the current one that I have open. This is my backup, so I'm going to keep this. And I hope that I can open it soon and start using it. This is a backup of a concealer that I adore. This is the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind. So I'm going to keep both of those, the backup and... The, this one actually isn't opened up either. You can tell I haven't taken off the sponge tip yet, but this is one of my favorite concealers ever. <sighs> Moving on, the Pixie. Oh, I need to take this out for my Pixie video. <laughs> um, Pixie concealer. It's decent, not one of my favorites, but I have to keep this because I'm going to be doing a full video reviewing a bunch of Pixie products. So I'll keep that for that video. Um, Pat McGrath's Labs concealer. I love that concealer. It's so good. You know what, the two ColourPop Pretty Fresh, it's not really one of my favorites. And I don't reach for it that often, and I have a bunch of them. We're going to get rid of the ColourPop. Uh -huh, Maybelline Superstay, I adore this concealer too. And I love the packaging too, because you can cut this open and really get all of it out. Boop -ba -dip boop This LA Girl, I really rarely use this anymore. I used to really use Color Corrector on my under eyes a lot, and I feel like I don't need to use it as often especially because i do have this charlotte tilbury one and it's essentially the same salmon kind of color corrector so i think i'm going to declutter this la girl one uh -huh. so i actually this is still brand new i bought it a while ago and then i was gonna give it away and then i brought it back into my collection and now i think i'm gonna keep it till i can use it this is the ulta full coverage liquid concealer so it's brand new not opened yet i'll just keep it in there the green color corrector i so i got this not only to cover up redness but because I heard that if you have an olive complexion, if you mix in a green color corrector into your foundation, it's supposed to like help it match better. And I really don't know if I'm olive or not because I can't tell what my skin is. Um, so I'm gonna hold on to this one. And then these two, I, I am so disappointed by these. So these are the Tarte Hydra Sealers. So I got a jumbo sample of this a while ago and I loved the concealer. It worked so well for me with a bunch of different foundations and I was like, you know what, I need to buy a full size. So a few months ago, I went on the Tarte website and it was like, buy one, get one free. So I got these both, if you break it down, for $12 each. These do not work as well as the sample. They are just, oh, they, they crease more, they don't blend as well. They're just really not good and I was really disappointed. So I'm going to keep, uh, I'll give them a little bit longer, keep testing them. But so far, like, I really wanted to clutter them, but I feel like I haven't had them long enough. Especially because they were so expensive. So I'll, these are on the chopping block for sure. Okay, so like I said, this was like the least cutthroat declutter. I'm going to get a lot more harsh when it comes to like lipsticks and eyeshadow because these are things I'm literally using every day and they're kind of like base products, you know? So this is kind of everything we decluttered right here from the foundations, concealers, powders, and primers. So that's it for this video. Let me know down below if you guys are excited for declutter week and if you've decluttered anything and how often you declutter. And I can't wait to see you guys in my next declutter week video. Bye.